Okay, guys, Brian back here with the Cadena update. Okay, um, looks like this thing is setting up pretty nice here. All right, we're going to take a look at this chart here a little bit deeper. Uh, first thing I want to say, guys, if you're in any long or short positions, please make sure you go and double check that you set your stop losses. Okay, tomorrow is going to be super volatile. Um, it always is with the Fed meetings. So uh, please go take care of that. Double check and make sure you have a stop loss set, okay? Um, and a take profit because uh, you're gonna get these massive wicks tomorrow and uh, I don't wanna see anybody lose their butt out there, okay, over setting a stop loss. That's the first thing you should do when you open up a trade, set your take profit and your stop loss and, um, and uh, make sure that stuff's in there, okay? Then you can sleep well, forget about the trade, let the trade run and uh, and you know enjoy the the rewards of it uh, if it goes your way in the end so just please go do that okay tomorrow is uh is going to be uh up and down very fast too it always is that meeting might open up you know what i mean and stuff either starts heading down you know what i mean and then it finally reverses and heads back up or the other way around and it's super big wicks out there all the time during these meetings so all right, and if you're interested in longing and shorting the market, please use my link in the description of the video from XC. Uh, if you're in the U.S., all you need is a VPN, uh, email, and a password. That's all you need to sign up. Uh, I love MEXC. I use it every single day. Uh, you don't get wicked out a lot on there like other places. Um, great, great exchange. Um, I love using it. Uh, like I said, uh, if you'd use the link in the video, I would greatly appreciate that. Definitely helps me out. I'm just a small channel, so every bit can help. And if you're interested in joining the channel, uh, it's $2.99 a month. There's a link in the description of the video for that, too. Um, all right, guys, enough of that stuff. Let's move on here, okay? First off, let's take a quick look at the market. We got the crypto bubbles. Got some stuff turning green out there, okay? Um, like I said, tomorrow is going to be a little crazy. So uh, buckle up and be ready for it. But Doge there, that thing uh, looks like it has ways to go up. I just did a Doge video. If you want to take a look at that, uh, has a target on there. Um, not financial advice, but uh, had a falling wedge that it broke out of. And there's a price target for that, obviously. So uh, let's move on here, okay? Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin because uh, obviously that runs this whole market. Okay, right now it's up 60 bucks. If uh, let's uh, get this rest of this stuff off here and see what's going on here, okay? Kind of expect that thing to pull back here and retest this top over here. That's what I have been waiting for. It might not, it might just take off from here, okay? But I was expecting to pull back down here to 28,100, 28,050, whatever, right around there to retest this top, okay? And then take off out of here. Might not get that, okay? Uh, but with the volatility tomorrow, we absolutely could get that. That thing could wick down here pretty good, all right, or, or it's just going to take off. The RSIs for Bitcoin, look at them. They're beautiful. The dailies down at the bottom, um, just flipping back and forth between bullish and bearish right now. Um, but it, it's at the bottom. That's where you want to see it. Weekly heading up, uh, still bullish. Monthly heading up and bullish. 12-hour. Uh, right at the bottom right here down here you can see it's uh, just turning up beautiful eight hour look at it right down at the bottom you couldn't want these rsis in better places i mean really look at these they're all beautifully set up um if bitcoin breaks this resistance at uh 29 400 then it has that resistance up there at 29 900 and uh, to get this, uh, flip this back into support up here, all right? That magic number is 31550 bucks. okay? If we can flip that into support, then this thing's really going to get going, okay? Right up here, flip that into support, and then uh, then, we get, then we're in business. We need to break above this 30 minutes. This, this was the Ripple settlement right here, the XRP settlement, that spike above there. But it came right back down. We need to break up there and hold that. Okay. All right. Let's move on here. Uh, what else do I want to cover real quick? The Dixie. Because uh, obviously when that thing's falling, uh, crypto helps crypto rise. I don't want to see it fall a lot. Okay. But if you go into daily here, looks like a five wave down to me. It looks like a perfect one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You can see it right there. 
sticking out plain as day, okay? Get that four wave coming up. Should not violate this. It shouldn't go higher, okay? Maybe right back up towards that 102 and then roll back down. All right, we'll see if that happens or not. Got the daily RSI just starting to roll over. And you can see in the bottom down here, see the uh, resistance it has on uh, the RSI. It's just hitting it and starting to roll over on it, okay? So um, we got, like I said, we got that daily just almost starting to roll over. Got the weekly coming down, all right? So that makes me think maybe this thing will do the five waves down. We'll just have to wait and see on that, okay? Uh, we, uh, what we have today, Dow Jones was up 26 bucks, nothing major. Gold is about even. And we have the total market cap up 3.4 billion. And the total two without Bitcoin up uh, two and a quarter billion dollars. All right, so let's look at Kadena here. All right, let's uh, widen this out and get in here on the daily. There we go. I apologize, sometimes this thing can be a pain in the butt. There we go. All right, and I mentioned in the video the other day that this thing could pull right back down to this line. That's exactly what ended up happening down, pulled down here for support. All right, now we have a, we have a double touch down here, okay? A touch here and a touch here. Uh, that's always good to see. That's, that's actually bullish, all right? As long as it heads up from here, all right? So um, let's take a look at these RSIs on this thing. Look at perfect. And bullish at the bottom, 789 and a 701. That's where you want it. We're at a 41 down here. Lots of room to head up, okay? We're towards this first resistance area. Let's put the candles back on here. There we go. All right, so the weekly uh, still heading up and bullish, 51 and a uh, 46. Looking great, okay? Looks like a wave one two to me forming here all right so we'll see if that's what forms out we'll see if we get this breakout from here heading up here but we got the weekly heading up also extremely low at a 34 down here in the bottom i mean it's really low um the bull run way back where was this back uh yeah october november of 2021 is the only since then this thing has just been like a dead flatline dead uh, heartbeat here you know just right just riding uh, going flat down here so it's about time it's about due for a run here all right you can see some momentum building in this little move down here and uh, be nice to see this thing get going so th that's the weekly the daily we have reset the 12 hour look at that beautiful 12 hour is at the bottom heading up that's 23 and a 16, okay? We got the eight hour at the bottom heading up, okay? So this thing's ready to go. It's ready to make a move. Tomorrow could be the day, all right? The four hour, that thing pretty much goes up and down all day long, all right? Um, we're looking at a any kind of resistance line inside here. You know, you, you got a little one coming down here besides this bigger outer one. You know, if you're charting this thing, you'd have a resistance line right in there. That'd be the first area to watch. You know, right there. If we break, uh, you know, if it breaks that one there, you know, it's tight, right in tight like that. So keep it, that's, that's your first one. If we break that, uh, a breakout of that would be up at, uh, what, 58, 58, roughly 58.80. Okay, that would start the breakout of this this one here. Okay, then up to resistance. Geez, it would take us another uh, 10 cents before we would even get up there. Now you can see a major resistance line right there. Right here. Okay, it's 65 cents. All right, that, that looks like a, a pretty good area. And that first one, of course, uh, right at uh, 58.30 right there okay the one we came up and tapped let's zoom in a little bit here you can see what i'm talking about okay that first area right there 58 58 call it okay you can see where it was support all through here support turned into resistance all right so we want to break that that would break this downtrend trend line right here and that would get this thing started moving okay the next major area 
is up there at that 65, 79, 65, 80. That's a major area of resistance all through here. Resistance, 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 support over here. So major area, okay? Um, I don't expect this thing to go down. I believe that is the bottom, that 55.84, okay? So be watching this thing. All the RSIs are reset. Tomorrow could be a big day for Cadena, all right? So like I said, if you're in any trades, guys, please go out, set your stop losses, and uh, be smart and just get that stuff taken care of, okay? Now, if this is a wave one, two, just to get an idea, I don't, I'm not sure if it is yet until the thing, uh, you know, until we get uh, some confirmation here, obviously, okay? Let's see what uh, this would be showing us. Just curiosity, okay? That would take us up to $1.43. I would line up with some areas. We'll see. We'll see if it happens, okay? Um, I'm just kind of playing around with some stuff here. Nothing, Nothing's guaranteed at all, okay? I'm not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Leave that stuff to the professionals. I'm just showing you what I see in the charts. And um, the thing looks really reset and ready to go. All the RSIs are reset. Bitcoin looks like it's about ready to go. Tomorrow can be the big day. We'll wait and see. Thank you so much, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.